morning and thank you for joining our daily outlook. And today we'll cover the changes in gold. Greg will be sharing insights from our trading desk. The price of gold has added 2.3% in the last session. The ultimate oscillator is strengthening and is now giving an overbought signal. The euro-dollar pair has added 0.9% in the last session. The Williams indicator plunged into the oversold zone. The sterling dollar pair has fallen 0.8% in the last session. The ADX is sinking into the negative area. The Aussie dollar pair has fallen 0.5% in the last session. The ROC transitioned into the negative area. Thank you. Moving on to the latest updates in the world financial news. Shares on Wall Street closed sharply lower, sliding from all-time peaks on the first trading day of the year, as risk appetite ebbed amid upcoming runoff elections in Georgia and the persistent surge in coronavirus cases. Bitcoin has shed much of the weekend's stellar gains as relatively cheap alternative cryptocurrencies play catch-up with the crypto market leader. The joint venture of Amazon.com Inc., Berkshire Hathaway Inc., and J.P. Morgan Chase & Company will cease to exist at the end of February, three years after the companies came together hoping to bring down escalating healthcare costs. Thank you. Now let's hear today's most important economic events. The German retail sales will be released at 500 GMT, the Swiss CPI at 530 GMT, the German unemployment rate at 655 GMT, the Eurozone's M3 money supply at 800 GMT, the U.S. ISM manufacturing PMI at 1300 GMT, and the U.S. API weekly crude oil stock at 1930 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join our next review for the latest news and events from the financial markets.